This is my kids Friday after school prepping for spring break, baby. What's up, Bondu? Hi. Um, haven't seen you guys in 10 days and it seems like it's been like 20. Um, just wanted to check in. I know you guys wanted to see my face. Miss it a lot. I'm sure it's changed quite a bit. Um, I'm going to open with a joke because I'm funny. Okay. And this is for funny. Okay, boys and girls. Um, what kind of jokes are the CDC recommending during the coronavirus outbreak? Inside ones. I did not make that joke up. I saw it on a meme on social media. Um, like I said, uh, we do need to take the situation very, very seriously. Okay. Um, obviously, the, the state of Iowa, um, our administrators, much of the nation um, is taking very big precautionary steps. Um, in my 35 years of life, I've never seen anything like this. Um, you know, maybe we've missed a week because of a, a huge snowstorm or an ice storm or something like that. Um, but for them to encourage four weeks out of school um, is a pretty big deal. And then you think about uh, other things going on as, as other businesses have closed down and other guidelines that they've um, administered. So I ask you guys to respect that, obviously, um, because we just don't know. Um, we can look at the rest of the world and see what they've gone through. Um, and we can do our best to learn from that and prevent um, keeping ourselves and others as healthy as we can. Uh, a couple things. I sent an email out through Infinite Campus um, to you and your grown-ups a little bit ago. Uh, not not a ton of info in there. Just touching in, uh, touching base for you guys. Um, as you know, if you do need something, please reach out. Email is probably easiest. Um, and we'll kind of go from there and get something figured out. Um, if you don't need to know who to contact, I can kind of get you in contact with those people. Uh, but either through your grown-ups or whoever, um, we'll get you taken care of. Bondu Community School District is definitely thinking of their students um, and community people when they're making decisions. So I hope you guys are aware of that. Um, I put a form on Classroom so you guys can check that out. It is not required. Um, but it's just kind of a general form so you guys can tell me a little bit on what's been going on and I've actually had a few kids already fill it out and I don't know how to see who filled it out. Like I see the responses but I don't know who said those responses so I might have to do a Google search in a little bit to get that figured out but that's where I'm at with that on my lack of knowledge in that area so place for me to grow but the form is just some simple questions okay um and i'll just go ahead and i'll answer them like for myself for you guys okay uh first question is how are you doing and that's like a ranking one um one being not very well at all and five being never been better okay so if i were to rank myself today i think i would go ahead and still put myself at a four um, and I think it's because we're really only on day one, knowing that last week we had off anyway. Um, now we did have to change plans, like we didn't do things that we want to do during spring break um, because we just didn't think it was a good choice or because we couldn't. Um, our big thing that we were going to do was we were going to stay at Adventureland, stay in the hotel and do the water park. Um, and we were going to do that Wednesday night to Thursday. And um, they closed that stuff down on Tuesday, the water park area. So we did not get to go. Um, there was a couple other things on our list, like St. Patty's Day Parade, um, Chuck E. Cheese, all sorts of things we didn't get to do. Um, but we survived. We found other things to do, trust me. So right now I'd say still say a four um, because I have only really stayed home with my kids for one day. Um, this is like trying to figure out this we're, we're getting things navigated as a school district um, we touched base um, I had a video conference with Mr. Evans and Mr. Fonts this morning um, and touching with admin that sort of thing kind of getting game plan going for the next couple weeks uh, so still kind of like a point of unknown I would rank where I'm at okay next thing is my favorite time part of the class period it's news time so if there's some news you'd like to share with me, please do. Um, some exciting news. We had Thursday, 
um, night, like late. Uh, you know, guys know my little brother lives with us right now. And he called me about 11.45 p.m. And our basement was flooding. The sump pump didn't kick on. So I've been figuring that out. Um, we pulled out the carpet, drying out the pad, um, all sorts of things. And that's been exciting. Like every day I get to deal, deal with that. So that's fun news. Um, I think that's my biggest news. I've got some things cleaned out. Um, everybody's still alive at my house and you guys know some of the stories I share about my kids. So that is a big feat in itself. Um, I think that's my biggest thing. I should have taken notes on what I was, how I was going to answer these questions, huh? Um, something I have done over break that I wouldn't have done otherwise. Okay. Um, so typically this is just going to be like a five day out of school break. So we usually like relax, we're mellow. We just kind of do what we want to do, have some fun, stay up late, sleep in. Um, so when I heard we were going to have an extended break, I knew that wasn't a choice because that's just not, wouldn't be functional in my house. So we started Simpson school, um, last week. So I was like prepping, finding manipulatives, doing Dollar Tree runs, getting things so then I can like take a little bit of time each day so my kids can touch base and do their school things. Um, so getting that figured out. Um, I have two books on my to read list. So I'll hopefully get, I, I will get those done. I know I will. Um, and anything else? I think that's about it. Those are like my big things. Um, a goal that I have over this extended absence is, um, I need, I want to get better at this online stuff. Like, let's check it out. Let's dive in. Let's, let's, let's get better at it. Um, cause I know that's an area where I need to grow professionally anyway. So this is like a great opportunity for that. A fear that I have which I would imagine you guys have fears too. It's just the unknown guys. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, just every day, like something new comes out and it's like, Oh wow. Like that's crazy. Like this is where we're at. So just kind of that fear of the unknown. Um, and some of the choices and decisions we make are out of our hands, especially for you guys. Um, being just young adolescents, your grown-ups make some of those choices, so then you just trust in your grown-ups that they're making good choices for you with your best intentions, and you might not realize that now, um, but they are, okay? We are, so uh, we do our best there. And the last one is, what do you need from me? How can I help you, okay? Um, if there's anything, whether it's like specific, um, it's vague, whatever, okay? Uh, like I said, if if I can't help you, I know people who can. So either through um, Mrs. McMurray or Mrs. Mc or uh, Kaufman, Garnis, Jo, um, whoever. All right, there is somebody in the district that can help you. So I will do my best. Um, if it's not me, to pass you on to the right people so we can get some things figured out, because this was an unexpected break. Okay, like we're prepared for. Thanksgiving, um, Christmas, summer break, like we're prepared for those, yet we still worry about you guys constantly because you guys are young adolescents. Um, so like this, this elevates it to that next level where like we worry about you more. So please, please, please reach out if you need anything. Okay. Um, next thing I have, you might recall the story that my daughter wrote a while ago about Jeff and the dog. We have another story for you. And I did not help her write this. Um, this was all her. And she's actually, come. she's authoring more books right now as we, as actually right before bed. She was working on her next book right before bed. Okay. Here it goes. I was in the forest. And me and my mom went and saw a butterfly and I wouldn't wanted to keep it 
but mom said that we that it would fly away so I told mom that I will make a cage for it but mom said that we don't have everything for the butterfly so we went shopping for the butterfly it's a good story remember when mom said no to the dog um, I don't know if you guys can see it but here's some of the words there okay so remember being in first grade remember that so I thought that was pretty good um, we have been reading a lot of stories that's something we do daily uh, Friday we have these books if you give a mouse a cookie those ones and it's like if you give a mouse a cookie if you take a mouse to school if you give a pig a pancake if you give a moose a muffin and then if you give a dog a donut so I'll just like I'll read a couple pages to kind of um, refresh your high school brains on these stories that you probably read in elementary school hopefully they're past your reading level okay but okay here I'm just gonna read a couple pages not the whole story and you'll see why here in a minute if you give a mouse a cookie he's going to ask for a glass of milk when you give him the milk he'll probably ask for a straw when he is finished he'll ask for a napkin then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache when he looks into the mirror, he might notice that his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. Okay? So, I wrote my version of the story for you guys, and I'm going to read it now for you. If you give a teacher a quarantine, she's going to want to check in on how her students are doing. When she checks in on them, she'll probably want to make sure their basic needs are being met. When she communicates with them, She'll let them know that she misses them. Then she'll want to tell you she's working hard with other teachers, administration, and others to help students learn at home. When she tells them this could be through Google Classroom, email, or video, she'll probably ask them to teach her what works best. When she's finished figuring out technology, she's going to want to catch up. She'll share how she canceled their spring break, plan spring break plans. She'll even share how she spent all week preparing to teach her own children at home. When she's done, she'll probably ask her students what they did. She'll tell you she's brainstorming enrichment lessons to engage her students at home. She'll tell you that you may not realize it now, but keeping a journal during this time could be interesting to look back on someday. She'll probably even tell you to use Google Docs. When she thinks about Google, she'll think of all the things she's read about COVID-19. She'll remind her students important ways to protect themselves, wash hands often, use hand sanitizer, and avoid touching eyes, nose, and mouth. Then she'll want to tell them how to protect others by staying home when sick, cover coughs and sneezes, wear a mask if you are sick, and clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. She'll probably tell them it is important to stay home and use social distancing when in public. She'll remind them to be kind to others, especially during this unprecedented time. She'll probably ask you to find random acts of kindness to do for others to brighten their day, which will make her think to contact her students. Contacting her students will remind her how much she misses their faces. So she'll tell them, be good, be safe, and see you soon. Well, there's my story. It took me a lot more than one take. I should have done a blooper reel for you guys. And I do know I stumbled a little bit in there, but I kept trying to retake it and it wasn't getting any better folks, so there it is gonna leave it um so if you need anything let me know i'm here to help you um we're all in this together this is something nobody's ever done before so let's grow together let's learn together um we'll figure this out and we'll see the positives that come out of this whole situation all right it's a time for learning um outside the classroom obviously outside our textbooks that sort of thing um this is life this is our world so let's see what we got coming here out of our future. I'll talk to you guys later. And here are my kids tonight. We have a bounce house in the living room. Go Jace.